Hello, my name is Stephanie. I'm your door expert from Windows City. I hope you find this entry door video helpful. If you'd like to stay up to date on future videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe icon below. Enjoy. The first step is to determine the size of the rough opening. The width is measured from the inside of the stud frame to the inside of the opposite stud frame, and the height is measured from the subfloor to the bottom of the header. Make sure there is enough room to shim on each side of the unit, allowing for an extra half inch in height and one half inch to three quarters of an inch in width. Measure the door prior to installing and check it over fully. A solid and level subfloor is essential for a proper door unit installation. Do not proceed until the subfloor is both solid and level. Also, check that the opening is level and perpendicular. If the door comes with a rounded, radius, or arch-top transom, prepare the opening with additional anchoring supports. If the door is being installed in a higher moisture region, such as the Maritimes or Southern British Columbia, place a blue skin water barrier on the sill, extending up both sides approximately one foot. Apply a triple bead of caulk, approximately one inch apart along the subfloor where the unit will be positioned. Do not attempt to handle the door without assistance. From the outside of the unit, Center the pre-hung unit into the rough opening, sill first, and lift it in place. Be careful not to disturb the caulking on the subfloor or the sill bottom before placing the unit in position. The first step is to shim tightly using two inch shims at the bottom of the unit first, then install shims in the correct locations and the proper sequence, shimming from both inside and out. Place screws through the hinge side jam into the studs at each hinge location, screwing through the shims as well. Do not drive the screws completely in at this time. The screws will keep the shims from falling down while adjustments are being made. Install shims until there is an even 1 8 inch gap between the top of the door and the frame header and on both sides. Note. Making sure the space is even all around is more critical if you ordered our multi-point lock system to ensure proper operation. For side light units, fasten the jam first on the hinge side of the door. For double doors, fasten the fixed side or passive side of the unit first. When placing screws to fasten the unit to the stud frame, Make sure you screw through the shimmed area and stagger your screw installation from left to right side starting from the bottom. Test the operation of the door to make sure it works correctly. Once the door is secure, score the shims with a razor knife and snap them off flush with the frame face and then caulk the ends. For double doors, make adjustments that affect the alignment and weather strip contact between the doors. Recheck everywhere for plumb and have an even weather strip contact. Finish driving all screws tight. Unlock the door or remove the transport clip so that the door can open and close. Check for smooth operation. Additional frame anchoring is required on doors with side lights, transoms, and double doors. On double doors, place a shim above the center of the head frame where the doors meet. Pre-drill and insert a screw through the frame and the shim into the header. For a rounded or radius shaped transom, you will need to anchor this at various points as well. Insulate any gaps between the frame and the rough opening with low expansion foam, being careful not to overfill. Or use fiberglass insulation, but do not compress it too much. Install the interior and exterior trim around the frame unit. Install the hardware according to the manufacturer's instructions if it does not come pre-installed. Caulk all exterior edges and all around the brick or siding. Then caulk the sill on both the latch and hinge sides from the edge of the sill crown along the edge where the sill and jam or brick mold meet. 
caulk the front of the sill edge where the sill and subfloor meet, being careful not to cover the drainage holes. If the door has a side light or side lights and or a transom, caulk around the mullions where the mullions contact the sill and header. Finally, caulk the perimeter where the exterior trim meets. Once the new door is installed, remove all the stickers and clean the glass. Check the operation of the door and the hardware to make sure it is functioning properly. If you are building your dream home or renovating your existing home, come to Window City, Canada's most trusted manufacturer of windows and doors.